Hello everyone, it is Toby here, back for uh, another episode of uh, Author Blocks, and today we are starting the episode off flying over the shopping district and spawn town area, because we have got a few things that I want to get done in this episode today, so yeah, I'll run you through what those things are, but first, let me check the coal shop. We've got absolutely no sales. Come on. And all the blocks, you know what to do. Come over here and buy coal. I don't care if you don't need it, but I want diamonds and you need to buy coal. So let me just run down here and sleep and I'll run through what's going on in this episode. There we go. Right. So in this episode, we got, as I said, a couple of things to do. First and foremost is we need to finish off this build here get it completely done and then I'm thinking about terraforming this so it just comes up to this big flat side of the build so we don't have to worry about detailing such a big bland wall which you could say is cheating I just think it's using the surroundings there's a big cliff here that can easily just be extended a couple blocks but yeah this will be the last building to go in the inner walls of this town where obviously the rich live the bigger houses are then I'm thinking outside the village just in these bits over here make some um, a bit of a farming village some little farming huts dotted around the hills some farms by the river change all this stone into like lush farmland could be quite cool um, that sort of thing just some more older more derelict buildings um, that are still quite nice and still quite built up because they're right next to the city and as we well the city the city the town rather and then as we follow this path around there'll be more more derelict builds more overgrown farmland a bit more like this and maybe some more farmland and stuff down in this area or down in this area we could have another little settlement i don't know i haven't really worked out that far yet that's going to be coming in episodes to come but today's episode we are definitely going to be finishing this build and detailing the town to completion and we also have in the Aesthetical Emporium, down here, we've got a couple orders. So obviously we've got Remington's order, which we are still plugging away at slowly between episodes. I showed you the start of last episode that I've been making some progress over there. And then over here, in the Aesthetical Emporium, we have got another couple orders. So this one is uh, Greyfux's order, where he wants us to detail over here here out the back in the games district he wants us to detail his mountain which i think is over here i believe yes here we need to detail this uh, by adding in some variations some custom trees that sort of thing that's going to be a job for another day though i think because it's quite a big task and yeah, I don't really know where to start with it, so I'm going to bring in Nano with this one as well, obviously, because it's our shared business. Um, but as for today's episode, we have a smaller order. The other order in there was to uh, beautify the area around Forge's starter house here. So he's paid for this cobblestone boxed area uh, around the base of his starter home, which are these two circles. And... Um, I'm going to be linking up with Nano later on in this episode to work on it and get it all beautified and we might be a bit generous, we might not be just like detailing roughly within this square, we may spill over in places but otherwise it won't look too brilliant. So that could be an idea. Um, so yeah, we're going to link up with Nano later and do this. I'm thinking maybe build a bit of a derelict stone wall around it some gardens that sort of thing make it look nice because that's what we've been asked and paid to do but first things first in this episode we are gonna go and work on the other half of that build so as you can see the build so far i've got the foundation built up you know the stone bit i do around the bottom of every build got some andesite mixed in in various places that's pretty much done but the thing we need to do next is continue this build palette here Oh, I've done that. I always do that. Just punch random double grass uh, blocks out. But anyway, yeah, we got to continue the upper level around here. And I'm thinking we're going to have it similar to this. 
with um, various peaks and stuff. So first, yeah, we'll just want to get the framework in, which I'm getting giving you guys a bit of an insight on how I do these builds, uh, like my thought process. So usually what I start with is getting like an oak frame in that I can come back and do the rest of this build with but yeah so here I don't know if I want to carbon copy that but I might do I'll come back to this so if I can't figure out what I'm gonna do I tend to leave it and come back to it so here I know exactly what I want to do we're gonna create a um, peak like this like I have done in multiple other places uh, with the smaller peaks most notably an example would be not that one that's a too wide one the most notable example would be there something like these these smaller windowed areas something like this look you see it's slightly taller bigger window that sort of thing and yeah we want to get that in just there and then next to it of course we're gonna have a uh, another one of these big peak so there's just gonna be a flat roof coming from this side to this side I'm thinking in this roof we will incorporate a chimney so I'm gonna to have to collect up some more bricks or stone bricks I think I'm gonna go for stone bricks because there's a brick one right next to us here and I think I'll do it up in this area here where we've got a bit of free space build a bit of a chimney just to break up the roof a bit add another smokestack to the town but yeah I'm gonna keep working on this keep building the framework and once we have some more progress will be absolutely flying okay guys this build is pretty much finished i just sort of went ahead and did it because you've seen me build like 20 of these houses now um so yeah we've got a bit of a bit of a composter area here with various different levels of stuff in the barrels uh, a little garden out the front here uh, around the back we've got more composters this time with lids on and then just up around there we've got some uh, bushes and grass that sort of thing if I fly up and look down the top we've got uh, the chimney on we've got this terraformed up a bit further to hide most of the flat side some more bushes and that sort of thing overgrowth that sort of thing to make it look really nice near yeah, the exterior of this build is now done but as you can see the interior is yet to be done but we are going to be pausing this project and heading over to catch up with Nano Okay, guys, so we've linked up with Nano, finally got him on the server for once in his life. Hello, everybody, my name is Nano. And, yeah, we're going to be doing Forge's order at the bottom here because it's small and I might be able to actually keep Nano on the server for long enough to do it. Not leaving. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we'll get to Grey's order in the near future as well, but that is slightly bigger and we're on a limited time frame at the minute, so... Yeah, let's let's head over to Forge's area and see what we're working with. Right, so we're over here at Forge's place. Uh, as you can see, he is laid out in cobblestone where we need to do. As you can see Indeed. by Nano standing on the cobblestone, being very Hello. helpful. Um, <laughs> thanks, Nano. Of course, Toby, of course. Right, I haven't actually been over to this part of town in ages. And I'm loving that tree on top of Edge's place. I've not actually seen that before. So yeah, me neither. That's really cool. Nano, <laughs> did you notice any of the buildings pop up next to your house? Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> I don't know what they are, but they're cool, so... Oh, yeah, they're quite decent, actually. Yeah. Also love the hoop on top of your house as well. Thank you, thank you. And the eyes. Yeah, they're beautiful, aren't they? Indeed, I don't know who built them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. So, we've got this small area to work with. Um, what do you reckon? Do we do we be generous and go a little bit over the borders? Because we've not got a lot of space here. Yeah, we probably should go over the borders because otherwise this is not going to look good. <laughs> yeah, so we'll we'll go a bit over. We'll just sort of go for it. So Forge, you're lucky. You're getting getting more than you paid for. Feel Which... free to pay us more though. <laughs> uh, Quirky's having a nightmare with science. <laughs> but oh, it's odd, yeah. but isn't that just normal of Quirky anyway? <laughs> That is, yes. But yeah, what, what are you reckoning for this area then, Nano? I want your opinion. Well, so, when you look at the house, it's uh, spruce, and he's got some leaves here, so I'd say we stick to that, and uh, how about some stuff with uh, miniature spruce trees? That could work. 
Do you want to hear what I sort of had an idea for? Uh, yeah, all right. <laughs> okay, Nano. <laughs> I'm going to ban you in a minute, and I'm not even an admin this time round. <laughs> anyway, I, I, th I was thinking we do a classic Toby and Nano crumbling stone wall loosely. Yes, yes. We can uh, where the that. cobblestone pillars are, just to give a bit of a border. But then also spill a little bit outside the border of the stone walls as well, just to tie it in a bit more, like fizzle out the vegetation yeah. a bit as we get further away. Yeah. Um, and then on the inside, really go ham, making some sort of lush, green, gardeny sort of overgrown thing. Because you can see that there's already leaves placed here by Forge, so we can just sort of take that concept of overgrownness and continue it, basically. <clears throat> Just see what we're working with, but yeah, this yeah. is a nice house to be in an overgrown area, to be honest. So we've got the beginnings of a wall coming in here now, indeed. Which has mainly been down to Nano's doing, uh, because one hundred percent down to my doing. Because I was collecting the resources, then I kamikaze Nano with my elytra and just blew up <laughs> on the floor. So yeah, it's actually going really nicely. It's already looking much better just by adding this wall around it. Um, once we add in all the little uh, fine details, custom trees, that sort of thing, the area will start coming together really nicely, which is obviously what Forge wanted, and that's why we're being paid, so it's going quite well. Since Nano did the first half of this um, project, I'm going to be headlining the second project. Nano's had to run and is quite busy over the next few uh, hours and days. So I'm taking over to complete this project. And so Nano did the wall um, pretty much all the way around. I just finished it off in this corner here as best I could keeping with the style. Then as you could see, I've added in some of these custom uh, spruce trees that I really like. It just takes the whole idea of a normal Minecraft spruce tree and just makes it look a lot more natural. So uh, let's take an example of a normal spruce tree over over there you can see them over there they're all very uniform look the exact same so what I tend to do with custom trees is um, come in here and either what I do is I grow a spruce tree normally so and then shave all the leaves off and completely redo the leaves or just build a spruce pole and um, add in the leaves on top of it from uh, shearing off the rest of a spruce tree but what I like to do is start from the top and work my way down um, slowly adding in more and more leaves as I go, leaving gaps to see the trunk, just making it look a bit more rough, a little more rugged. And also tree placement is a really important thing because it frames build. And what you want to do is if you've got a build, you want to frame it. You don't want to block skyline, you want to uh, frame it. So as you can see here, I haven't put a tree like here because that would completely block the build. So what I've done is i put one there, put one there, put one there, like framed it so it looks um, nice. So it draws your eye to the center to the build which to be honest it, the build's really cool it's such a simple design but it's actually really cool and it fits really well in between these spruce trees i think i don't know why but i can just envision it in a pine forest just like as some cool uh funky like lodge you can rent or something but yeah i'm liking how it's looking uh, so far and as you can see the walls also frame the build really well so the wall doesn't come over with a gate to frame the bottom it leaves a gap so you can see the bottom of the build so you can see the entire face of the build and um, yeah it's just open from all angles and then on the sides where it's a bit more boring uh, you want to hide that uh, once again I've just fallen on some wheat I'll fix that later uh, where's a good vantage point to see this from yeah when it's a bit more boring on the sides where it's just uh, spruce wood I've put another tree now in the middle so it hides it a bit more and when we have some more like grass and stuff growing up around here it'll just hide it that little bit more and similarly over at the back here where it's not boring we've got uh, the build framed once again with the two trees so when you're down at the path here you can look up you could see uh, the windows get a nice view out the back of the build itself and since there's no doorway it's slightly cut off at the bottom but you can still see the majority of the build uh, and then yeah over here on this side I've done the exact same thing where I've plonked a tree right down in the middle to hide sort of blandness of the one side of the build and something else I've added in is within the walls here I've started working on sort of the garden area by just adding in a bit more of these bushes so Forge actually started with these bushes um, on his build 
and I uh, liked that idea and I took it and I kept running with it and just added in some more bushes around about the place and then what we're going to do in, uh, is come in here and place some of uh, these red berries down and bone meal up some of the area just make it uh, look nice so we're going to add in of course the grass to um, uh, make it look vegetated grown and then we're going to add in these little berries just for a bit of color um, because a lovely way to just add in some detail with this area is um, always get a little bit of color but not too much color because then it looks um, a lot of it looks quite unnatural if I'm honest so what you want to do is just add in a bunch of these berries and when they grow up they just add a little bit of red in there uh, because they stick with the spruce coloring quite well because the greens a bit darker so it sticks with the color of the trees like you don't want to add too many shades of green in there so I'm keeping it down to like two where you've got the darker shade with these leaves uh, and then the grass um, tall grass when we grow that in and bushes are a different shade of green uh, but we don't have any other shades like the jungle and that sort of thing messing with it so you're just keeping it with that um, the those two shades of green just to add a little bit of variety, little bit of variety. and then the one colour with the uh, red berries just adding that little bit of red and I might add in uh, a few poppies and rose bushes to keep with that red theme if the build needs it but I'll decide that after we do the rest of the grass and detailing but what I'm going to do is I am going to continue adding in these berries all around the edge of the wall as well Forge just got a bit lucky that we're spilling over the uh, borders a bit because the cobblestone borders that Forge put in it have now been incorporated into the wall but that really doesn't add it mean like there's a lot of space to beautify so I'm just going to blend it into the surroundings a bit more by adding in vegetation outside the walls don't make it look like it's just stuck plonked on there um so forge is getting a little bit more than he paid for but i, I love doing this this is my favorite thing to do in minecraft is uh take a build if i've built it or someone else has built it and just make it fit into the world around it and make it look really nice so basically i'm going to finish this off and then we'll jump back, look at the finished product, and then head back over to our town and finish that off. So I have finished. I have finished up Forge's area, and I'm going to leave that ender chest there. Oh, is that my, I think that might be my ender chest. So I'm not going to leave that there. <laughs> Sorry that I said I would, but it's mine. But anyway, yeah, so that is Forge's... Uh, starting home now built into a landscape beautified like the services of camera crew entailed and as you can see I have uh, bled the grass and bushes outside the wall like I said I would I didn't go too far because obviously I don't want to do this whole area because obviously I haven't been paid to do so but I've just made it so it's not just a flat wall just beautified the edge a little bit uh, adding these trees around but I've as you can see I've kept in the roses that the bone meal uh, sorry poppies that the bone meal kept in um for that little bit of red color but you know these berries are growing in it just adds this little bit of uh lovely lookingness in and if we go into here we can see we get a view outside um that is not obstructed by any trees really there are, obviously you can see them but it, it, the main view isn't obstructed you can still s see the main uh, spawn town out the back there and as you can see literally if we run across the top of the wall it's probably the easiest way to see this uh, all the way around there is a yellow flower that has escaped my grass down there come on we're not going to be able to hit that without doing that well we've now just dropped a bit of grass but that's fine it's one bit uh, just to get rid of that yellow colour as I said but yeah as you can see we have fully detailed the garden area around here I think it's looking pretty damn good and I hope Forge thinks the same. Around the back here I didn't do quite as much uh, foliage around as around the side here just because it's a steeper cliff and it doesn't really need it whereas the flat top looks a bit weird having, having a big grass flat up here uh, and around here as well. So I went a bit further out on the foliage this side but it looks nice and if uh, Forge wants me and Nano to come back and do a bit more of the area then he can definitely pay us to do so because I've had a lot of fun doing this it hasn't taken too long um, because uh, my thoughts for this came pretty naturally um, of the wall with the spruce trees around it looks all very good I think and it just frames the build as I said in the last clip a lot better than just having a 
uh, two spruce spheres just in the middle of a flat plane. Having the trees around it just makes it fit in a little bit more. So Forge, I hope you uh, are happy with this. I'm going to now, after I finish recording this clip, send you a screenshot uh, and hope you're all happy with it. And if uh, Forge is, then we will leave this project here. If not, then we will tear it down and start again. But I'm sure Forge will be happy with it and we can get back over to our area. We are over here at my place to finish off this episode just because I didn't realize how long we'd been recording for. But this area here anyway is done. For all intents and purposes, it's done. Because we have one interior left to do, which is this one in here. As you can see, it's not done. But Nano has expressed some interest in wanting to do one of my interiors. So I'm gonna actually leave this interior open for Nano to do. So who knows when that's going to be done, uh, to be completely honest. Um, but it's going to stay there because Nano has claimed that interior. But as for the rest of the town, all the details around about the place are pretty much in. Like every build's got detail around it. Nothing feels lackluster at all. Um, but I'm thinking we need to hire someone to put some armor stands about the place. Um, someone who's particularly good with armor stands. So I'm going to... I'm going to try and um, put this as a PSA out to any of the unorthodox blocks watching this video. If you are good with armor stands, then please, I want you to get in contact um, and basically build some armor stands in and around my um, town here to make it look lived in. And I will pay a diamond per armor stand. Okay? So if you think you can do it, get in contact with me. First person to get in contact with me, I will commission to do the job. And yeah, it should be should be good if someone could come and do that. We could do it as a collab or um, you can just do it in your own time and I will pay you once it's done. But what I'm looking for really is just like, let's say someone fishing here, um, someone... I don't know, sitting on, on the, under this tree, someone on the bridge, people walking down the paths, even people in the houses, so there's people in the interiors. Anyway, like someone here about to pull this cart, loading a hay bale on or something. That sort of thing, just people everywhere to make the town look lived in. Because I am useless with armor stands. It took me about a half hour in SMPDX4 to make an armor stand of me piggybacking an armor stand of Nano. But if someone is particularly good with armor stands, say like one waving out of here, that sort of thing. Get in contact and I will commission you to build an armor stand. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Unorthor Blocks. I hope you have enjoyed. It's been a little bit all over the place, but we got to link up with Nano. We built some cool stuff for Forge. We finished off the final build of this area. And I can gladly say this place is done. So in the next episode, we're going to be moving on to a brand new project. And yeah, that is that. And I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.